Hi everybody, my name is Isabel Chu and I'm 14 years old, so I'm going to be a sophomore in high school this fall. And I come from Los Gatos, California. I first heard about this camp in the newspaper. My dad read, a, read the ad and he came up to me and he said, Hey, do you want to come to this forensic science camp? And he told me that it was started by Dr. Henry Lee. And I was like, oh, the O.J. Simpson guy? And he's like, yeah, that, that's him. So I was like, okay, I'll go. Um, I had just started beginning to get interested in forensic science, and I had been doing some independent research by myself. And so I thought going to this camp might help me get some more exposure to the subject. And so I said yes, and honestly, I, I wasn't really expecting much from this camp. I thought, okay, I'm just going to go and then take some notes during class and come back. I thought that was going to be it, but I learned so much more from the camp than I thought I would. For example, a lot of our professors were Dr. Lee's co-workers, so actual professionals in the field, and they had been working with Dr. Lee for like 30 to 40 years, give or take a few, and they taught us so much about crime scene procedures and blood stain analysis. like oh, at what speed did the blood hit the surface, or at what angle, like what does it tell us? And fingerprints, how to distinguish between fingerprints, how to lift them off of any surface. Um, I remember there was this one time, an ex-FBI agent came over and he taught us about crime scene sketches, and photography, and how to properly document our evidence. And when we went to, when we went to Yale, uh, we learned about anthropology, study of bones, and their significance to forensic science. So that was the classes, but since we did so much more during the weekend too, like it wasn't just stuck in the lab all day long. Um, we did some university tours, and they were kind of they were kind of general, you know, public stuff. But Dr. Lee. He used his connections, and uh, he got us into some places that other people might not have been able to go to. Like, for example, we went to the legislative office building in Hartford, Connecticut, the capital city, and we got to meet one of the justices of the Connecticut State Supreme Court. And he talked to us about his work, and we asked him. We just asked him some questions about what he did. And we got to talk with him. And so that was that was really, really cool. But I think the best part about this camp for me, it wasn't just the classes or the tours, going to the East Coast for the first time. It was also the people that I met and the connections that I made, like the people from World Journal or from the Institute, or like the other students who were learning forensic science with me. And I know that it sounds really cliche, like, oh, the best part was the people I met. But honestly, like this couldn't be truer for the two weeks that I've been at this camp. My, for example, I remember this one time. My friends and I were working on our crime scene presentation. We were working on like uh, the reconstructing our crime scene. And one day after class, evening session, we decided to stay behind and ask the teacher some questions. And so we did, and uh, we were just working on our project, but we lost track of time, and suddenly we looked out the window and it was pitch black. Like, it was 10 o'clock p.m., and we had been working on our project for four consecutive hours, and we didn't even realize, because we had, that's just how much fun we were having doing our work. <laughs> and I remember being really scared walking back to the door. <laughs> yeah. The only thing about this camp that I wish I could change is the fact that it's only two weeks long. Like, it went by way too quickly. If, yeah, if I could change anything, I wish I could stay just a little longer. Because the people there were so, they were the best. The people from World Journal and at the Institute, they are so nice. Like, you could ask them for legit anything and you know they'll answer you
Except for their age. You know, don't ask people their age. We didn't get an answer for that. <laughs> so, yeah, I had a good time at the camp. It was, I'd say it's been one of my best experiences in my life so far. And it's just made me that much more inspired to be a forensic scientist and to study what I've learned at the camp. So thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lee. Thank you, Institute of Forensic Science. Thank you, World Journal. Thank you to everyone I met on this trip. It was literally the best part of my life yet. And I went to a Stanford camp, and that's saying something. <laughs> thank you.